Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Clark with Scooter Media. And in today's video, we're looking at fast external solid state drives for video editing. And in particular, the Samsung T5 and T7 drives. We'll look at the differences between them and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Let's get into it. I just recently picked up the Samsung T7 drive, so I'm gonna quickly unbox it and then we'll dive into the review. So opening the box, we get another box inside. Not sure how it opens. Oh, there's our drive. So there is our T7 and I got the gray one terabyte size. And also included in the box is the cables, oh, and the manual or instructions. And it comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable, as well as a USB-C to USB-C cable. And that is pretty much it for what's in the box. Both of these drives are portable, reliable, and fast, and they come in a variety of sizes, ranging from 250 gigabytes to two terabytes, and are available in different colors as well. And the main difference between the two drives is the read and write speeds, as well as the physical size. The T5 was released in the summer of 2017, and I purchased the two terabyte version almost a year ago, and I've been using it for video editing ever since. It has been a fast and reliable solid state drive that has never let me down. The T5 has maximum transfer speeds of up to 540 megabytes per second, and is always kept up when I'm editing directly off the drive. It really is amazing that I can edit 4K videos directly off of something the size of a credit card, and it doesn't slow down my computer at all. And the size of this thing really is an advantage in itself, as you can easily pop these into a pocket, a backpack, camera bag, or just about anywhere. It's literally it's the size of a credit card. Another advantage of these SSD drives is that there's no moving parts, meaning you don't have to be quite as careful with these as the older spinning hard drives. Samsung has built the T5 with a full metal shock resistant frame that can endure drops of up to two meters onto a hard surface. The T5 also features AES 256-bit hardware encryption to ensure the protection of sensitive user data. It can also be plugged directly into Android devices to provide seamless transfers between the drive and an Android device. There is a blue indicator light when the drive is plugged in and working near the USB-C port. I have been so happy with the T5 that I was going to buy another one, but decided on the T7 due to the speed increase, which brings us to the T7. The T7 was released in the spring of 2020, and as I mentioned earlier, I purchased the one terabyte version recently. The T7 has a maximum read speed of 1,050 megabytes per second and a maximum write speed of 1,000 megabytes per second, making it almost twice as fast as the T5. It is the length and width of a credit card, though considerably thicker. The T7 is also available in a touch version that includes a built-in fingerprint reader for added security and protection, although I decided to save a few dollars and just went for the regular T7. It also uses AES 256-bit hardware encryption, which is nearly unbreakable, provided you use a strong password. The T7 is slightly longer than the T5, but also considerably thinner. It also features a full metal shock-resistant frame, making it drop-resistant up to six and a half feet, and the color choices include gray, blue, and red. The T7 has a USB Type-C port on one end, and next to the port is a tiny status light, which shines blue when the drive is connected and blinks when a data transfer is in progress. Now I'm just gonna break down the important differences of these two drives. The T5 has a USB 3.1 Gen 2 interface, comes in a variety of sizes ranging from 250 gigabytes up to two terabytes. The size of the T5 is 74 by 57.3 by 10.5 millimeters, which translates to three by 2.3 by 0.4 inches and weighs 51 grams or 1.8 ounces. It has maximum transfer speeds of up to 540 megabytes per second. And for security, it features AES 256-bit hardware encryption and features a three-year limited warranty. At the time of this recording, the T5 two terabyte version sells for around $300 Canadian. The T7 has a USB 3.2 Gen 2 interface, comes in two sizes ranging from one terabyte to two terabyte. And the size of the T7 is 85 by 57 by eight millimeters, which is also 3.35 by 2.24 by 0.3 inches and weighs 58 grams or two ounces. It has maximum transfer speeds of up to 1,050 megabytes per second. And for security, it features AES 256-bit hardware encryption and also features a three-year limited warranty. 
At the time of this recording, the T7 sells for around $340 and the T7 Touch sells for around $360 Canadian. They both ship with a USB-C to USB-A cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. Neither one of these drives have been tested for water or dust resistance, so best to keep them dry and clean. The next thing I want to do is test the speeds of these two drives, and to do that I'm just going to copy the same 17GB file from the computer onto each drive. First let's test the T5. I'm just going to speed this up a bit to keep the video moving. The T5 took 46 seconds. Now let's test out the T7. The T7 took 30 seconds, so as you can see the T7 is considerably faster. In summary, I think these are both great portable SSD drives and you can't go wrong with either one. They are both compact and lightweight, which is amazing for portability, and the lightning fast speed of these drives is fantastic. Having such a compact, high performance and high capacity storage solution that easily fits into a pocket is extremely useful. Along with the AES 256-bit hardware encryption and the ability to seamlessly work with Android devices make both of these fantastic options. I think if the speed of the drive is the most important factor for you, then definitely go for the T7, but if you're looking to save a few dollars and still want a fast, portable SSD drive, then the T5 might be the better choice, as it is less expensive than the T7. Either way, these drives will suit the needs of any on-the-go professionals or media enthusiasts that work with large volumes of data. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, as it really does make a difference, and I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. I recently did a review of the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo OLED laptop that I'm currently using with these Samsung SSD drives. If you're interested in checking that out, please click on the link here. Thanks for watching today's video, I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.